All right, y'all. I just woke up. Uh, there was something bothering me, and I think I need to talk about this because this is where I see mankind heading, and it's kind of a shame that it just it doesn't stop. We're constantly being bombarded by this type of shit. But anyway, I wake up on my phone. There's a message on there saying, get 5G for $29.99 a month and a free phone. And the payment I'm on is 4G and it's more expensive. But I would rather stay on that than to get this 5G shit because they did studies on it and there's other things, you know, and I think it really does. I think things like this it causes malfunctions in the bodies and it causes cancers and it causes all type of shit. You know, just look into it yourself if you don't think that I'm telling you what it is. Now, do I know? Am I a scientist? No, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. You know, I never studied it myself. But, you know, these waves constantly going back and forth, you know, going through your head and your body and and all that like sometimes I'm on my phone for a long time and I'll start getting a headache you know my eyes will start hurting they'll start getting blurry because I'm on the phone a lot and it's from this phone when I don't have this phone on it doesn't do that and anyway I just want to get into a little bit of where I think mankind is going right now as I see it we're so bombarded with all of this. And even though I use technology, see, here's the hypocrisy in it. I use technology and I, I'm on here, you know, I just started my Instagram thing and I uploaded a couple, you know, of my beats and songs. And I have a lot of other stuff other than that. And, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it, it's, where we're going, it's it's just all of these things are just pushing humans more away from each other. And we are not getting that type of interaction and, and that human connection that I think so many people are. I don't want to say desperately, but I think that's the only word that I can kind of use. Uh, I don't want to say that people are desperate, but I think it's just driving us more and more away from that kind of stuff. And now, th this is what I mean. This is why I always say, I always feel hypocritical because I am a loner. And I told a couple uh you know, of the guys the other day that I was talking to on here. And I want to let everyone know, my channel is not just for guys. My channel is for anyone that comes on here. My channel is for men, women, if you're over 18, I, I don't care who you are. You're, my channel is for anyone willing to listen to what I'm saying. But it's, I'm a loner and I'm always by myself. And I like being by myself. Um, I like expressing myself, though. I like to show people my art and my music and other things. And I'm just starting out with this. I, I've been avoiding this for so long. And even me, I can't lie. I am missing some of that human interaction that I think that I need to. Now, I know a lot of you, you're like me. You're similar to me. You kind of, some of you, I think, kind of gave, gave up on humans and you gave up on human interaction and other stuff and you know what is going on in the world and you know a lot of things that you know, but don't assume that you know everything about yourself because you don't. You don't know everything about yourself. You know, I'm, I don't know. It's really weird. It's a really weird situation because it's so hard for me not to sound hypocritical, you know, but that's where I see us heading. 
You know, I'm just being honest. It's they want you to buy this 5G and now they're giving it for cheaper. And and they they want you to, you know, do all these other things that they're doing. I'm not going to get into every little thing, but it's it's just not like it used to be at all, at all. If you're someone in my generation, I'm 35 years old. And let me tell you, it is nothing, absolutely nothing like it used to be. I mean, when I was younger, when I woke up, there was not a phone by me. I wouldn't even turn on the TV most of the time. I'd get up, I'd sit there, I'd maybe go get a bowl of cereal, and I would be thinking, what do I have to do today? What am I going to do? Am I going down my gram swimming? Am I going to go uh, to my friend's house and are we going to go play basketball? Am I going to take a walk? Am I going to ride my bike? Are we going to ride down Hike Spire? Are we going to go to the river? Like there was so many things that you, you were like, okay, what, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? Because you didn't have all these distractions there. You, you had to interact with people and, and it was just a lot different. Why do you think, why do y'all think that depression is up so much? Why do you think that anxiety and all this other shit has skyrocketed? But, but see, then I got to say, whoa, whoa, Nate, stop what you're saying. Because here I am, here I am on a phone. Here I am kind of uh, being distracted myself. So where do we draw the line with this? Basically, that's what it comes down to. But here's what I would tell y'all. This is my honest, where we are going, where all of this technology is going with faster and faster and faster get this thing because it's faster all of all it does is it makes us more lazy it makes us more dependable and then get something that's better bigger better bigger better bigger all that does is it's putting up a wall between people that we know people that used to be our friends, people that, people in our life, anybody that you know, or anybody that you can maybe talk to yourself. I don't know who you can talk to. I don't, I don't know most of y'all, but this is why I get on here because I know, I know what is going on, but a lot of people won't talk about it. A lot of people won't express this because these things are putting up a wall like this. It's like this. And, and this is how it is. Uh, it's like someone's talking to you and this, this is kind of how it feels most of the time. Now, sometimes I like that. I like when I'm on a phone and I'm speaking. Like yesterday, I went live with a couple of the subscribers and... I like to talk and, and vent and speak about stuff while people are texting. My phone can't handle the live connection anyway. So look forward to those. I'll be going live more too because it, it's something that I think can, even though we're not interacting person to person and we're not speaking, I I think that can help a lot of people through the day or, or just through a couple minutes of the day, you know? I don't know, I don't know, because I can't never assume that I know something that I don't know. You know, it's just, it's a second by second thing. And the little bit of, you know, stuff that I'm doing, 
that that's just that's just me messing around. It's just me expressing myself and venting. That's all it is. So if any of you are watching the video and you want to go on my Instagram, SBN, you know, uh, on the uh, the space on the keyboard, uh, whatever it's called, the the long one that you space to go to another word, SBN space resonate. But I don't like telling people to subscribe and, you know, do this. Come with me here and, you know, like forcing people to do whatever. I don't like doing that. I like when people make their own decisions. But sometimes you have to remind people then. You see, it's it's the constant. Here's how I see it. There's There's a limit to a lot of this. There's a limit to, I think... This is where we need for me. This is where I need to discipline myself. Because like I said on my Instagram, it's like addicting. I could get on there all day and do that. I could get on there and do video after video after video and talk about everything that's on my mind. But I have to set a limit to it. I really do because it it ends up being too much. Our brains and our minds can't handle all this. You know what I mean? And why do you think we're having so many people that are suicidal and so many people that are continually watching, you know, this content called black pill stuff? Don't get me wrong. I even watch this stuff. I even watch it from from time to time. And and the last like, you know, week or so ago, I was watching it every day pretty much and it it just got me so down again and it got me so into a place of like despair that I didn't want to do nothing. I didn't want to do anything at all. And I would just tell y'all, don't take it too far. Don't go down that rabbit hole too far. Don't get too deep. Don't get too dark. Don't go there too much because I'm telling you, it's a spot that you may never come out of again. And I know, I know this. That's why I can tell you I have been there and I go there. I travel there like an explorer that has lost myself again and I'm seeking to find myself again and I get caught up in these places and things where I shouldn't maybe be. Basically, all I'm saying is don't do too much or don't do too little of something, you know, and, and I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm not telling anyone to do anything. I'm really not. But just be aware of these things. That's all that I'm telling you. So that's where I see this heading. And the more awareness you have, the more you will see this over time. It'll speak for itself. So later on.